along the far board. Donahue behind the net. Funny a bounce off the board. Masson has it. There's Fia shot save made by Cole Cece. First big scoring chance of the game. Now Cole dies. He scores. Traffic set up in front of the net, and Joey just threw it low along the ice, hoping for a deflection. He didn't need one. It found the right corner. Bulls up one nothing. And I saw that one coming, Jody. You saw CC is real aggressive there, getting out of the paint, cutting down his angle off that first shot that they, he actually kicked out. Gets back to Cola Tarsi and he found Donahue right on the back door. Great shot by Cola Tarsi. Puts it low just to the right leg and there's Donahue with that tip in the back door. So Donahue tipped it in? Yes, sir. I didn't see the tip. I thought it came off of Cola Tarsi's stick. Watch it right here, baby. Here's the call. Sure, number eight, Scott. Back for Curtin for Yuskevich. He dances around, Masson backhander score. And just that quickly, defensive breakdown in the bull zone, 1-1 one, one to score. Well, that was a tough one there for the Bulls, Jody. You saw Yuskevich came in and I think he was actually jumping out of the way of the hit there, but managed to pull the puck through with a toe drag and Stewart with traffic in front, and we talked about that being one of the keys. Yeah. Coming in. Deflecting out, puck comes right in front, score! That puck rounds right back in front. Miles Abbott at the bottom of that face-off circle, buries it low along the left side, ice of Hayden Stewart, and Evansville takes a 2-1 lead. And once again, the Bulls having trouble down low in their yep. own zone. Exactly. Jordy, they had 2-D over on the right side over here, and Romeo came in and tried to make a clearing attempt around the boards. It just kind of muffled up his stick on that backhander and Hutton came down and he's got a, you know, he's a big frame. He's got a long reach on him, threw it back up top and there it is, two to one Evans. Greg. Played along the near side, Abbott has it. He lost it, Carson Rose keeps it alive. Sends one in front, score! Zach Masson floating right through the slot, low slotted as it be, just outside of the blue paint. A nice, nice play by Carson Rose. And just as he's supposed to have, Zach Masson, his stick was on the ice. He didn't have to put it down. It was already there, just like they teach you when you're five years old. Absolutely. What a tip there by Masson. And Jody, I was just about to say, the Bulls need to strike back quick. And before I can even get it out of my mouth, a broken up play by Carson Rose inside their blue line. A nice quick wrister and Zach Masson. What a tip. Here's a Zach call. Masson! His sister for 15, Carson Rose. That's Zach's third goal of the season. Here got his own rebound off the pad. Kozarev circles down low. Nobody in front. Sends it for Glover. Save rebound. Score! Brian Romeo. Hard work on that one, Greg, on that one shift. Taking the puck, keeping it alive, putting the pucks on net, bouncing, chasing the puck, going to the net, paid off Ryan Romeo from his defensive position, scores and gives the Bulls a 3-2 lead. And I tell you what, as much as I hated seeing Carson Rhodes being thrown out of the game, Jody, I think it really raised the tempers of the boys on the bench a lot more. I hope so. They said, you are not gonna do that to us. And the boys answered the bell there in that first shift out, took it to Evansville. Boy, it went right to Lincoln Hatton. Down low, Curtin with the puck, has Hobbs in front. Harrogate, oh, well, he scores! Brendan Harrogate from the top of that far face-off circle. Ties the game for Evansville, and here we go. Power play goal. Gives Evansville the tying goal, 3-3. Now the score at 7.52 of the third period. That's one of those situations there, Jody, where Harrigan just had the slow walk out of the corner and that tight curl to the top of the circle. And what you don't want to give teams on wow. the power play is time and space. Briarly, we're down to 10, eight, seven seconds to go in the power play. Romeo for Briarly. The turn for Romeo. He'll try and risk one. It goes to buy everybody. Barley has it. Evans will back at full and even strength. Barley has it. Save made. Rebound loose. Down the shot. Score! Nikita Kozarev buzzing around the net. Three balls. It wasn't a power play goal, Greg, but it was scored because of that man advantage. Evansville just could not regroup and get the puck out. And Birmingham 
with a 4-3 lead. Absolutely. Talk about offensive pressure there, Jody. Good job moving the puck low to high with an absolute bomb coming off. 1-2 Sinclair, second stab at it. Kozarev came in at the third attempt and put it in over the diving CC to give the Bulls a 4-3 lead with five. Romeo slides it back for Briarley. Romeo, far side, Kozarev thought about a one-timer, plays it, Davos goes! Drake Lover deflects the shot from Nikita Kozarev and Birmingham on the power play. A huge power play takes a 5-3 lead. And we talked about it early in the game, Jody. If the Bulls can stay away from the stupidity and play the smart game, it will help them in the end. And they stuck to their game. They've been battling. They've been standing up to Evansville all night. And Evansville, they took the game out of their own hands here with four minutes and 29 seconds left on a, just an absolute silly neutral zone penalty by Dorsey. Glover on the goal, a power play goal is that. What a play by Kozarev, no, Kozarev. identifying him down low. Jukov spins away, gives it to Dorsey. Far boards down low now, Evansville maintaining possession. Vandenberg Rocker scores. Here we go, Greg, 40.8 seconds remaining with a net empty to our left. Vandenberg Rocker scores from right at the top of that face-off circle. Jody, that looked almost identical to the goal that Harrogate scored when they were on the power play a little while ago. Just that, you know, working the puck down low, and I was like, why are they just moving it down around the perimeter? And then they step in, they curl in through the top of that circle, and there's that same shot. Not that it matters, but you got to win control of the draw. Evansville lost it, but couldn't even send it in, and that's it! A huge, now we got something going on behind the plate. Oh yeah. Masson takes a punch from Hobbs. It all started right in front of the Bulls bench. Now Kozarev grabbed by yeah. Hobbs. Sharks around like a rag doll. This is about nothing more than sending a message for tomorrow night. Well. You can't penalize them now, the game's over. It's not gonna matter unless it's a misconduct. 